All right, hello guys, what's going on? So this is a video that a lot of people in the community have been asking for. It's a video I've been wanting to make for a while. Um, it's been fun to try to get this to work, but definitely not recommended um, to stream from Shadow PC while gaming on Shadow, um, while Shadow streaming all that to you. So um, let's just get into this a little bit here. So what a lot of you have asked is if I don't have a local PC, maybe I have a Shadow Ghost, or maybe my local C PC can't run Streamlabs. It's very possible I have two old test rigs that I use that uh, they, they will play a few games, but they will not boot up and run Streamlabs. Um, it doesn't work. They can't handle all of it. Um, so it is possible. Uh, in that case, can they use Shadow PC to use Streamlabs to, to stream? And the, an the, the short answer to that is basically no, but let's take a little bit of a closer look. I am going to bring up Shadow. Um, we are, we're going to close Streamlabs here on the local PC because you cannot have everything working in two places. So if you're going to forward these guys, uh, your camera and your mic and everything, you're going to need you're going to need to be able to uh, to not have those run on a local PC. So let's minimize our, our shadow PC. I'm going to shut down Streamlabs here, and uh, we're going to jump over and bring up Streamlabs just like this uh, or similar over on Shadow, and we're going to record and talk about what's going on right there. So uh, we'll be I'll be right back. All right, so with basically all the same settings, here we are on a Shadow PC. I will show you we are forwarding. Now, this is another thing that happens. As soon as you start doing this, especially with my internet, 350 down, 12 up, Xfinity gives you horrible upload speeds. Really, I think if you had 35 or higher for your upload, you might do better, but there's still other problems that we're going to take a look at. So I know this is kind of hard. The audio is not going to line up with the video. There's nothing I can do. I want you to see exactly how this is working. So we lose our latency a lot. We still don't have any packet loss, which is fantastic, but our latency goes to trash um, as soon as we're trying to do this. And I don't know if it's due to my internet on my end or something else that's going on with the forward of the USB devices but here is where you can forward that's also why I'm not even trying to get an Elgato to forward with this internet or with this setup it's not gonna work really can't recommend trying to uh, to run Streamlabs on your shadow to, to record and stream so that's what's going on with this. I don't even have my controller connected right now and um, yes there are things you can do to play around with all the settings in here and whatnot but I have played around with every single setting bandwidth um, I've spent about a month and a half working on this and it doesn't get any better this this is it this is what you got at least for my internet for my PC for my setup this is it I would imagine for most people um, this won't work uh, but let me know in the comments if you do have something good good that's working. We are forwarding our mic. We are forwarding our cam. It's just not working great. Um, I've Now, what I've had to do, let me show you properties. I can't go higher than 25 frames a second, 864 by 480. Uh, I can even knock that down lower if I want to, but it doesn't make a difference. Uh, anytime I go above this at all, it gets even worse than what you're seeing now. So um, I'm not going to test stream to Mixer because I already know I can stream to Mixer just fine. The issue isn't the bandwidth or the internet on Shadow uh, uploading to Mixer or anything. That's, none of that's a problem. The main issue is getting this camera, this mic, and everything to go to shadow uh seamlessly and smoothly and it's just not been a possibility and they don't advertise it to be uh, if you look it up on the shadow website they do not recommend doing this they recommend streaming from a local pc while gaming on your shadow pc and that's pretty much what you need to be doing um, but a lot of people have asked for this i've been wanting to make this video um, it just took me a long time because i couldn't even get it to work this good and that's sad for quite a while so no need for me to test the streaming. I know it could do that, but we, we can't even get past this. Now, the other thing I want to show you, let's jump into Task Manager. So we jump into our Task Manager. I want to show you here, this is very, very consistent. I've also been checking this for about six weeks as I tested this. Um, this down here is... Your CPU, 32%, it'll bounce around a little bit. Your GPU is going to bounce around in the mid to high 20s. You are already encoding and streaming video to your local PC from Shadow. So if we're not recording, we're at about 11 to 14% on the GPU usage and about 
18 to 20 percent usually i think on the cpu so we already take a hit just using shadow just it being able to function and stream to our local pc so that we can use it now we've got streamlabs open right and we're recording this video which i'll end soon because i know this is probably hard to watch um but I wanted to show you here. So that's all we're doing. You fire up a game and your performance is out the window as well because this is too much to be taking on before even opening up like a high-end game or a AAA game or something that you're going to play. So absolutely not unless you get really lucky with your PC build, really lucky with your internet. Um, absolutely not going to pull this off. And even if you do have good enough internet and you can do this, I suspect that the Shadow Boost package is just going to have way too much trouble uh, processing all that and giving you any good performance at all. If any of you out there are using Boost and you happen to be game streaming perfectly, let me know what you're using for a setup. I don't need to be able to do it, but I know the community will be interested. Uh, I doubt anybody's really getting it to work very well. Uh, if you are, I'll be glad to come check out your channel and uh, and check out your streaming live one night while you're doing it to see uh, to see how it looks and to see how it's working. I'd be interested to do that. So let me know in the comments uh, about that. So let's get out of here. This can be a little rough to watch. Let's jump back over to our local PC and wrap this up. All right, so here we are back to our local PC. The audio should actually match my lips, what I'm saying, and everything should look good and flicker free and, and all of that stuff. So um, as you could tell, uh, and that took me a lot of time to just get that to work and to figure out lowering those settings, making sure uh, my internet wasn't getting eaten up at the house, having some things turned off. Uh, I even had the Wi-Fi off on my phone. Anything I could do to help with being able to pull it off so it was not that easy to get to work and uh, it's definitely not something that i think very many people would try to do um, if you're looking to game on shadow and be a streamer to mixer twitch youtube whatever the case may be um, even even if you're not investing in a gaming pc to do that and you just want to get shadow you're still going to need something to do the streaming with um, it's just uh, most people majority of people are going to need a local device to stream with uh, capturing uh, that display from shadow pc and that'll work just fine i stream to mixer or youtube with no problem um, playing on shadow and streaming with my local pc i do it for the channel uh, for me personally i only game locally i don't per personally game on shadow but for the channel i do it a lot so um, anyways i hope this helped to answer some questions about streaming uh, and using streamlabs on shadow it works great to record footage nvidia's geforce experience works great to record footage on shadow all that kind of stuff um, just to screen cap but as far as forwarding your webcam your mic and trying to stream and game and do all that it's just not really going to happen um, they don't recommend it on their website i don't recommend it um, try to have something local to do your streaming so thanks a lot for coming to check out this video i hope it helped to answer some more questions about shadow and streaming and Streamlabs and so forth um, i'm working on putting together kind of a quick um, really 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 beginner on Streamlabs, like people who really don't have any idea i've had a few of you messaging me on twitter uh, direct message and on facebook asking me some questions about my setups how i'm recording uh, uploading different things that I'm doing and what I'm using so I know there are still plenty of people out there that are trying to learn this stuff I had to learn a ton to be able to do even just what I'm doing um, so I'm more than happy to help people out and I'll be putting some more videos out that might help um, some of you uh, get some things like this uh, with Streamlabs or NVIDIA um, and things like that started so anyways thanks again for checking out the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't click that notification bell so you know when I drop new videos please give this video a thumbs up and leave your comment down below all of those things go a long way to really really help the channel i appreciate all of you who have been subscribing commenting liking all of that great stuff uh, great growing community here i can't believe we hit a thousand subs last week uh, it's been super exciting. Uh, great fun with the laptop there behind me, the Lenovo IdeaPad 5. Still testing games and doing more videos for that, and uh, as well as jumping back into shadow videos and some cloud gaming videos and other things. Uh, maybe possibly some live streaming on YouTube soon. Uh, if you guys are interested in anything like that with Shadow Live or maybe a Q&A on the Lenovo or something, uh, let me know in the comments below. I haven't done anything live on this channel yet, uh, but we might dive into it. So thanks a lot again uh, for checking out the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one.